Hello everybody, welcome to episode 20 of I Play Skyrim and uh, oh god, is this uh, on right? It's actually looking the opposite direction, yes it's fine. Okay, good. Uh, as uh, just before I started the game, I recruited Neol as a follower and given her the weapons that Lydia had. Taken a few things off her as well, you know, she might as well give me something because I'm, hel I'm helping her by getting her around the country with me. We're actually going to be doing the Dampened Spirits one. I know I said before that I would... Uh, do things in order, but uh, uh, obviously Dragonborn and Dawnguard I'm not doing at the moment. That one can wait. I'm actually quite anxious to speak to Maven. So I think that's what we should do, Lydia. Lydia? I should get used to calling her Meol now. Meol's brought me nothing but safety and peace of mind. Shut up, Aaron. And some lessons with the blade. Well, I think she might be upstairs. Let's find her. Yes, she is. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. I could end you, you know. Stop moving me out of the way, whoever you are. How about we skip the conversation? You're a firebrand, aren't you? It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggar's guild over there. Hmm. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Okay. Uh, so I'll just straight up. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malice Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. All right. Well, I'm just going to ask her a little bit about herself. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Some layabout named Sabjorn. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Uh. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabjorn get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. Exactly. With Sabion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Sabion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. Okay. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. And I'm part of both. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. One okay. more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. I am part of both the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, lady, so don't cross me. Shouldn't you be on your way to Whiterun? Shut up. You have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. Okay. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Yeah, I have them. Remember I said before? I... I... I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I... Well, we both thank you. Oh, I get a potion of healing. Thank you so much. Just get out of here. <laughs> so I do that for you. Tell me to get out. And he'll also tell me I've got the nerve to come back again if I do. Not taking that kind gesture into consideration. Okay, me all. You ready, girl? We need to go somewhere. Let's go to White Run. City we know and love so much. 
so damn well. Come on, Cosa. Right. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never. I own the Palasia farm just outside the city walls. Oh, yes. Nimriel takes good care I of things for me. That. Need something? Yes. I think Need this something? is a glitch. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think I had my years two, of war and fighting. Um, Red Senseless. Guard men right here. All of it. Yes. All I want now is you a can't break talk to them. Good soil. Can't a man drink in peace? Mm -hmm. But Megan said you're expecting me. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. Okay. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Okay, let's just ask a few questions. Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already this removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Mm. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Sabjorn ends up in jail, she's going to take over his meadery. And guess who gets to run the Blackbriar meadery in White Run? You're looking at him. Once Sabjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. One way or another, we don't want the pests coming back. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. All right. Remember, I think we've got it. Sabjorn will be a helping hand. Make it look good. Oh, sorry. Knocked into a few I things. I never said we did. Ugh. Okay. Where is this place? We've already been there. Let's go there. Okay, this must be him. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Let's see. What shall we do? Shall we persuade? Or intimidate? Hmm. I'm going to intimidate. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. Okay. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Okay. 
Malice? Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Oh, you sounded a little no, bit like... I've got to clean up this mess. A little bit like a nasty piece of work. I don't think I like you. So I can either go out that way or I can go out the other way. Let me just check on the map where they go to. So, boys in the nest, boys in the... Okay. We're going, I think, in the wrong direction, first of all. Let's poison the nest first. Mm. Oh, we can't get in that way. Okay, well. Let's try getting the other way. Oh, and suddenly there's a dead skeever. I didn't see it before. I don't know whether you guys may have. Let's go down here then. Right. Life skeever. I think, yeah, she's gonna go for him. Anything around here? That we can loot or take or anything like that? Some of these barrels. Just the mead. Right, there's a some bear traps here try not to get killed and i think we'll do what we've always done get the bow already oh actually no that's that's my bow oh yeah actually, you know what i've given an arrow to me oh but i haven't given her a bow i'm itching for a fight yes i know you no are. problem i can carry a good bit of gear she's always so pleasant she's never ever whiny or moany or anything like that and I've given her an ebony All arrow. Set. Let's go. Remember I said if you give your followers just one arrow, they'll have an infinite number of those particular arrows. So I've given her the best arrow I've got, which is the ebony one. So she's got a lower level bow, but she's got better arrows. I'm using my steels. I think I best have this at the ready. She's good with staves as well. She can use Grim Sever in one hand and the stave in the other. Fabulous. I no doubt there's some scoobers down here. And I think there's a, a person down here. I don't know who they are. But yeah, there's a person. Is that them over there or is that a skeever? Yeah, we all did that. She's a brilliant archer. Love her as an archer. Uh, but I think the person down here is quite, quite powerful. So I'm gonna save and just keep moving this way. Uh, it's like one of those dungeon quests. It's supposed to be a tunnel made by pests but it's so much more than that. It's in this barrel. It's more mead, I suppose, yep. I don't drink. No mead for me. I think we're gonna meet some more skeevers and possibly spiders, because there's uh, webs. So. Oh, who's, is that? A, that's a skeever that's been, yeah, been cocooned up by a spider. Oh, uh, we have to walk through web. Ugh. If you've ever walked through web, 
at home, like if a spider had been in your garden and they've made a big web across the walkway and you have to walk through it, it's horrible. Yeah, got it. Oh, he's gonna deal with the other person, other one. Right, she's done it. She's done it. There's my girl. You need to get out of my way, though. But luckily, uh, unlike Lydia, she doesn't actually get in my way. It's very good like that. I wasn't wrong about spiders. I said, I've always said before, I've played the game before, but I've only done this quest once before. Yeah, some more skeevers that have been... Oh, it's horrible. I really don't like it. Another save. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the creepiest places, even though, yes, it's just under a nigiri. It's not like we're in a dungeon going on a quest to find a, a legendary bit of jewellery to do defeat a dark lord or something like that. This is just a very simple quest, but it's set in a really ominous place. The place I'd rather not be, you think it'd be quite straightforward, but it's uh not. And through another bit of web. Blech. I think is that a person I can see? Or is that just rock? It might just be rock. And it might just be me. Uh, Mjol has... <gasps> oh, I had to stand on a trap, didn't I? Mjol has a much better sneak than Lydia. So she doesn't rush in like Lydia did. And I'm going to have to walk this side of the bear trap. Is that... That is a trap right there. See if I shoot it. Yeah, so it didn't hit us. So, we just keep walking, do we? Where is this place that we're meant to go down? Oh, down here. I didn't see it. Silly me. Skeevers, more spiders, or are we just going to meet someone down here? I think he's our next adversary. Whoa. I can't make me jump. You can hear them coming before the before you see them because they can smell you. Oh, is this where we meet that person? I think it is. Behind that rock. One more save, guys. Nothing wrong with a save. I really don't want to go back too far. Do you remember on Grim Sever? I went back quite a way and I had to play through quite a bit to get back to where it was and edited about five, ten minutes of footage. Oh, there's an arrow right there where we need to poison. I think that is that that's the nest, yeah. There he is. Lydia, not Lydia, we all can take care of her. We'll take care of the skeevers. Shit. Po uh, potion, potion, need a potion. I haven't been able to get to the shops yet and get my uh, potions up. Oh 
Oh good, he's dead. He's dead. Oh good. Hamlin. So my potions, my potions going up. Take his journal. I don't know what we've known, learned from that, but yeah, I could do with one of those healing potions, thank you. And I'll take that because I can sell it. Uh, no, I won't take any more. Oh, I'm not going to go back and search those skeevers, definitely not. Uh, what's down there? We can't actually get down there, I don't think. Uh, anything else around here? You were doing something. What were you doing? You were, you were doing some form of alchemy. You were. There's some minor healing there. Three thieves. And we get our sneak. Excellent. Excellent. My mother was a strong. One thing about me all is that she is a chatterbox. She doesn't shut up all the time you're adventuring. I mean, this is the first thing she said. My mother was a strong woman. But, um. Woman. She will talk and talk. And especially when you're trying to listen to somebody, it can be really, really annoying. She will be saying things. She's the one who instructed me on my. Yeah fighting techniques. Can you imagine? Anything else around here that we can use? Well, have we got any uh, bits of alchemy on us that we can use to maybe just level up a little bit? I want to keep those, I want to keep those, 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 and those. Ah, oh, those are things we need for for other people. So new. I don't think there's any more skeevers and stuff down here. I think this is just a way out. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. Are we back where we started? No, this is different. This is not where we started, but it looks very much the same. Let's get to the boiler here. Well, this looks rather a nice place. Sweet rolls and wine and all this and that. There's nobody here, so yes, I am actually going to loot as much as I can. He's given me 500 gold, but you know what? I don't really think that's enough. I think I could probably do better. Well, ode to the Tundra Striders. Great. That's good for bed night reading. Bedside reading. Good night reading, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's steal. There we are. Yes. I love it when things go my way. Nah, nothing in there worth, worth doing. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't think there's anything in those uh, barrels that I need, really. Oh, there's another one on this side. Oh no, that was the same one. I'm an idiot. Oh no, we can't do that. Go to the other side, or what's here? It's just sweet rolls and shit. Yeah, that's it. Right. Where do we go? Oh, we're supposed to go back through there, but it didn't let us out the other way. Um, oh. Oh, there's this key there. I'm an idiot. There we are. Right, let's just get back. Hmm. <laughs> He's not gonna know what hit him. Why can't we discuss unclear? Well, it's about time. <laughs> really good to, to say that, Malice, in, finished. right in front of his face. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Okay. Attend the tasting ceremony. I remember a cut purse trying to rob me on the road once. Well, Sabjorn, when I drew Grim now Sever, that you've taken care I think the pest poor man soiled his armor. Taste of some of your mead. Help yourself, my lord. 
It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Mm. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. Oh, damn. No, please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. I'm in with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Oh dear. Farewell, Sabjorn. Surely you should be behind him. <laughs> oh god. I don't think that could have gone any better. He even looks quite Anything else you need before that's you the head back to Rifton? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Okay. Here, this should help. Right, I'm going to say that because I'm not happy about him not telling me. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Yeah, that sounds a bit like deception. To be Besides, honest, I don't think you're Maven any better than Sabiol, and I feel a bit him. guilty now we've done Saved that me from to wasting somebody. Coin, hiring someone else to do it later. Hmm. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Maybe. I can't believe it. Here we need hurt. to go. Yeah. Thing is, though, oh, come on, out the door. Come on, out the doorway. Uh, where is it we need to go? I can't believe that worked. Oh, I think I remember where it is now. White Run is such a beautiful city. Have you ever seen the likes of this place? Thing about Maven is that she uh, she doesn't like people crossing her. She's a very dangerous person. However, she doesn't like to put people in. She doesn't like to kill people. She doesn't like to make people disappear too easily. It's mostly just to make a point. So if you have them imprisoned, then they're always going to be there for her to you know, say this person did that and you can hear it from their mouth. Ooh, that's close. So it's, uh, yeah, I'll take that. And that. Uh, turn that to me then. Unfortunately, yeah, I'll take that too. Sometimes, uh, Doing something for Maven doesn't always put you in good favour with her. She's not automatically going to like you. What's in here? Nothing. Great, nothing. I'm still going to just check everything that I can. You never know. I mean... Bit of gold. A few bits and pieces. There's another one up there, but I just don't want to go up that high. Hi! I knew there was one around here that I could use. There we are. So, that's about all that we need do. 
anything else around here that we've missed or whatever? I don't think I want to steal any mead though. Where are you, me old? Oh, she's coming. So let's get back to me then. I think she's still up here. Yeah, it hasn't moved. I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Mm -hmm. Why don't they well, listen to me? whoever this mysterious they marking represents, say? they'll regret starting a war with me. Okay. You should bring Scary, this information to the thieves' gate immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Okay. Out of my way. Fine. Oh, Mio, you took your time, Mio. I told you about Valen, my dear. Oh well. So what are we on now? Still on Dampled Spirits? Yeah. So, I therefore need to get over to the Thieves Guild. Something I can help with, or do you just want to talk? No, I don't want to talk, thank you. Practicing his uh, fighting skills. Need something? No. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yes, of course it is. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the mm -hmm. guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Okay. Well, we've completed Dampened Spirits. Let's see. Scoundrel's Folly. Okay. Well, that's that done. Uh, we haven't really been at it for a long time. How long have we been doing this? Not very long at all. So it's quite a quick quest. So, I'm going to say thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, even though it's a very quick quest, uh, not much uh, is it what it was in it. I hope it's okay, and thank you very much again. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.